All right, so I want to introduce you guys to my new series where I'm going to create a programmer social media platform where programmers can share code snippets with each other. And I build this all using SvelteKit and PocketBase. So I already have the code lined up right here. You can find the link in the description to my GitHub. But let's see how it looks like. Hold on just one second. I am offering free coaching to those of you who need help in JavaScript development, Flutter development, and most front end or full stack JavaScript frameworks. If you're not opposed to receiving some help, message me through Discord at 8 Dang. I'll be sure to include my tag below, but remember, I might not be able to help with everything, but I'll try my best. But with that out of the way, let's get back into the video. So you see, there's a post with a header, and you can see the code. And there's hashtags with the user right here. We could open the user in a new tab. And you see, we get there bio right here we get their name we get their profile picture and we get all the posts they've ever made so you see that on the nav bar we only have home but let's just go to create an account so let's create a test account test test at email.com test test right here and you see that we get access to the profile and the settings page in the settings page we can change our name we could change our email and we could change our profile picture we could change our bio, etc. So let's change our bio. We just say test right there. And if we go over to the database and we go over to users, you see that our test and we have the bio set to test as well. So it's updated on our database as well. So you see if we refresh right here, it's persisted. So now let's go to our profile and you see no posts are made. So let's go to the create page and let's enter in a valid title. Let's say test as well. Now actually, new post and let's say this is going to be some typescript code it just console.log test and then const test is equal to test right here and then we have to add at least one tag per post so let's add right here this is a new post and we can remove the tags but let's just add a random one like this post code snippet and you see, it takes us to the page of the code snippet right here. So you see, we could delete the post. We could like our own post as well. Right here, you see. And we get the code with syntax highlight. And you see, if we go to the home page, our post shows up in the feed. So we could also like the post of other people. We could also see that in the database, if we go to posts, and let's say test two, the one that we liked. You see that in the likes, it's a reference to two people, two users. And if we go to the profile, we could delete this right here. And we go to settings. And we could log out. Let's log in. Test at email.com. .com, test, test. Let's log in. And let's go to settings. And you see that. Our information is persisted. Now we could even delete the account. And remember how we like this post right here. If you refresh, you see the like is automatically deleted because if there's a deleted user, we can't have a like to a deleted user. It automatically deletes the like from it. And that's it. I hope you guys are looking forward to the tutorials of this platform. I hope you guys are looking forward to learning more about SvelteKit and PocketBase using this tutorial. And I hope I serve you some value in the future. Thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you in the next video.